Good evening, Eastern North Carolina. I'm your first alert meteorologist, Russell James. We're going to kick things off by taking a look at your Monfest Festival heading into your Sunday. Around 10 a.m., temperatures will start off into the lower 60s. You might be noticing, you'll be saying, Russell, why are the temperatures dropping off? Shouldn't it be heating up this time of year? Well, looks like... Uh, we got that northwesterly flow there is going to prevent those temperatures from really soaring as we go throughout the afternoon. Plus, we'll have the cloud cover also in the viewing area. As of right now, in New Bern, temperature sitting at 70 degrees. We got a westerly breeze there around eight miles an hour. Overnight lows will be dropping down into the 50s for tonight. 53 is going to be the low temperature for most of eastern North Carolina. And the reason behind that, we're going to be clearing a lot of these showers and storms, and then we're going to start to establish a westerly flow for tonight. So at least for this evening, low to mid 60s expected, but then a second Secondary batch of showers may try to um, spawn up here as we go into the overnight hours, but most of us will be asleep. And by daybreak tomorrow morning, temperatures starting off into the 50s with that northwesterly flow established across the area. But then notice the clouds here and notice the position that it goes. It goes from northwest to southeast, so the clouds will roll back into the picture pretty much overspreading all of eastern North Carolina and it basically sticks around going into the afternoon and certainly going into the evening hours and then by Sunday night we'll at least have some drier air move back into the picture with a little bit of clear skies across the area and the reason behind this is uh, we have an area of high pressure which is mainly parked back across uh, the central plains here and so we need to get that northeasterly flow on the right side of that high pressure system paired up with the northwesterly flow associated with that large area of low pressure you're going to get that north to south orientation and that's what's going to be bringing in the clouds and also uh, some spotty sprinkles from time to time and also the cooler temperatures over the coming days now as we go to your wednesday notice high pressure begins to slide off towards the east so that's when we'll start seeing less clouds and more in the way of sunshine but then Got another area of low pressure with another system that's going to be moving eastward here as we go towards the end of the week. High pressure was going to keep us nice and dry there Wednesday going into Thursday, but then we got to turn our attention once again back across the west. So clouds persist through Tuesday, less humidity, mild days and cool nights ahead for all of eastern North Carolina. And we look at the highs over the next eight days. We're going from the lower 60s up to about 72 degrees there. That's when we get that southerly flow reestablished across the east. But Aside from that, pretty much quiet weather here in eastern North Carolina. Switching over to the tropics right now, we've got the latest advisory on tropical depression. Sean, this was as of the 5 p.m. advisory. Winds around 35 miles an hour. Uh, thunderstorm uh, organization not looking too good. Has been encountering a lot of wind shear. And it looks like Sean is practically on its way out. In fact, the National Hurricane Center is having this fizzle out by the time we go into early next week. But that's not the only system I'm keeping an eye on. We also have another system here in Atlantic, which has a 70% chance over the next 48 hours and a 90% chance over the next five to seven days. And if it were to develop, the next name on the list is Tammy. And I have to say, we are quickly exhausting the 2023 hurricane names. In fact, if we continue on this path, we may end up having to use the auxiliary list over the coming uh, weeks or months or so. But at least for now, Clouds and sunshine expected for the coast temperatures into the middle 60s overnight lows into the 50s 49 degrees there Monday night along the coast. So it's going to be a little bit nippy out there. You might need to turn on the heater. Certainly Monday night 43 further inland a chilly start to your Tuesday. But then once we get to Wednesday, Thursday, fair skies to ample sunshine. Great day to maybe go outside, mow the lawn, nice quick walk around the park. And then as we go into the weekend, Friday into Saturday, the clouds return, the isolated showers build back across the area with high temperatures into the upper 60s homecoming ECU game on Saturday.